So you got yourself a brand new GoPro, huh? How are you going to store that? Welcome back to another video review on the Tech Gooch. Today we're actually looking at the Proflex case by the guys over at GoScope. Now GoScope I've actually done a review on before for one of their selfie sticks, I guess, or, mono, or uh, single monopods for your GoPro. Um, I don't like calling them a selfie stick, but I guess technically that's what they are. They're just not for your made des design for that. They're designed for action camera movements, things like that. So, but essentially that's what it is. The stick so you can put the camera on the end and take video or pictures of yourself. And while there's a lot of people out there that hate them, in certain situations I think they're fantastic. So, that said, uh, they sent me over this, uh, which is basically a nice professional case for your GoPro and all of your GoPro supplies. Now, I recently did one on the in case, which is basically before I received this one, it was my number one case. That's one I've, I've been using for a while. And for a simplistic, small amounts of accessories, it's still a fantastic case. I do, I still like that one. However, since I've received this guy, I tell you what, there are some advantages and of course some disadvantages to using this guy. Most of them being advantageous to most people. So let's get into it. Let's show you what it actually looks like. And I'm gonna actually keep it wide first um, because this guy is awesome. As you can see, I have uh, one of my original, my GoScope uh, pole in the bag. And it's actually designed for that. The guys, they obviously they make them as well as the bag and they thought of that. And so you can put not just this guy, but various other uh, monopods or selfie sticks in there as well. I just have the actual ghost scope that, that I've had for uh, or a couple years probably now. So um, that said, one of my favorite features is something so simple, this little hook. Uh, essentially what you can do is literally on a doorknob or on a coat hanger or if you're at a hotel you're hanging on the actual coat hook uh, and then you come over and you obviously if this is hanging just unroll everything and there it is it's just like everything's all nice and tidy uh, the nice thing is if you pull it open it's not just going to fall out your GoPro, your GoPros and your, your stuff your uh, important stuff's down there in the little velcro shut bin uh, but uh, let's Get a little closer now that I have an opening to take a peek at. So you can see here, this is it. We're gonna start. You know what? We're gonna start on the far side. So let's roll it up a little bit and come this way. First, we have a little mesh open pocket. Uh, right now, I'm keeping uh, stuff that I want to make sure I, you know, I am aware of. I have an extra memory card in here. I have my uh, leash basically in there as well. Uh, an extra one. I have one on my, my helmet, stuff like that, but if I'm in a situation where I want to have an adhesive leash, I have that ready to go. Uh, this is another zippered pocket. Currently, I don't think I have anything here. No, I do not. But it is non-mesh. It's a closed zippered pocket with, of course, their little logo on it. Then we come to the next set level. Um, something I really don't use. I don't know why I keep in here other than... You know what? I had space, so let's stick it in there for now. Uh, it's the visor clip from GoPro. Um, I tend to not ever use it, so uh, another quick clip, and then I have my 90 degree ones. I even keep my skeleton back door in here, uh, that way I, if I want to get audio while still having something a little more protective than the frame case, I have that. You know, various accessories. I also I always keep my go knuckles in here. Uh, if you haven't seen this review, I'll post this, hit that little uh, exclamation point up in the top right corner and or uh, I'll, and, uh, you can watch the video on that guy as well. Um, more quick clips, adhesive mounts. Uh, this is my GoPro adapter for uh, standard quarter 20 thread cameras. Uh, Sony's action camera, uh, if you have a smartphone adapter or just a camera in general that way you can actually uh, attach that to a GoPro accessory or one of these mounts obviously. But I keep that in there at all times. I have various uh, thumb screws from the guys over at Nordic Flash, those aluminum ones I love the most actually, uh, to the ones that came with the Go Knuckle, also aluminum, and then the standard GoPro plastic ones. I tend to keep less of those in here than the aluminum ones because I like the aluminum ones better. I always keep my um, uh, Peak Design Capture Pro or uh, and all of its accessories in here. If you haven't watched that uh, review, I'll post that in the uh, 
the freight of the little mode as well. So just tick, click on that little uh, button in the top right corner and you'll watch other reviews that I've done. And then just simple things, uh, uh, the tripod mount, uh, the frame, the lens, I'll just stick that back in here. I don't use that a whole lot, but I have it with me just in case. Various quick mounts. And then of course we get to the end here where I have, like I said, my selfie stick. This is literally, you know, real quick and easy. It's just a through pod. So you can see this that has, uh, it looks like, you know, more bins, but it's there actually open on both sides. And then you have your big elastic one here. So you can actually stick different ones. This is the one that I had in there. And I have... Um, one of uh, Ghost Scope's newer ones that I have yet to get on. I get my review done on it. But let's go ahead and stick this guy in here. So you can see this one's significantly thicker, but still fits just fine. Uh, a lot shorter, you can see, than the the other guy I have. Um, I also have the one that I've also done as well from Rhino, the Rhino Pole. Just like the other guys, it's gonna just fly through there. And of course, once you roll it up, it ain't gonna go anywhere. But uh, just to show you, there are various other options you can get in there, other than the one that I showed you first. And then the last, but certainly not least, is the last pin, which is the padded divider. Uh, I have my GoPro in my frame case, because that's usually what I always shoot with, so I usually keep it in that. I have my waterproof housing over here, so it's not going to get scratched, lens down, so I don't have to worry about it. Extra battery I keep in here. Um, yeah, I could put it in the pocket too, or that zippered pouch, but I tend to keep it right here, because that's where my GoPros are. And then I have a small accessory bag from my Peak Design stuff. That way I have all of my mounts and screws and everything that I need for that. And this tended to be just be a really quick and easy spot for me to stick that because it's already in its own little pouch. So uh, nice velcro. You can obviously make sure you have it nice and tight and then it's not going to come out and then you just roll it up. Once it's rolled up, you clip it back up and you're good to go. This little hook is, is definitely one of the best little features. You know it's it's amazing how easy it is to just hang, hang and when, when, it, when it hangs down, real quick and easy to use. So, definitely love that. So that is the ProFlex case from the guys over at GoScope. I want to say thanks to the guys over at GoScope for sending this out to me to do the review on. And literally nothing but positive things to say. Um, you could put the GoPro remote, one of those things that I don't have because I used to have it and I never used it. So uh, you can put that in there. You can put uh, your USB cable for syncing if you want to make sure you have a USB cable with you at all times, which I usually keep in my laptop case. So I'm not a big deal. You know, I wouldn't, I don't put it in here, I guess. But no other things you can put in there. There's room for a ton of stuff in there. And that's the best thing about it. It's not that much bigger than my other case, but there's more room. And the nice thing is, it's that it's divided room. So where the other cases that I've had, or like my in case, there's a bin and you, it's all jumbled together and you gotta obviously pick through it to find the item that you're looking for. This is all open and easily find, easy to find. If there's one thing that I could say, um, maybe rather than the solid dividers, the orange, you know, more mesh pockets so you could see in it. But then again, it's not that hard to find stuff. So. I don't know. I, I'm actually okay with it being exactly like it is. So uh, I like the bright color. It makes everything really easy to find. Even in lower light conditions, that bright color will reflect more. So um, yeah, I, I think they did a fantastic job. Um, I I can honestly say that this is my number one um, GoPro bag accessory for anybody to get that I would recommend. Uh, check it out over at GoScope.com. You can, you know what, I'll, I'll definitely push put a uh, link in um, the description below and it is go-scope just so you know dot com sorry for my confusion uh, and that way you can check it out I'll also put a link to uh, the product specifically on their website so um, that way you can go right to it and find out more information on it if you have any questions, comments, post those below. You can also uh, get a hold of me directly through here at YouTube if you can message me directly. Otherwise, 
head over to Facebook, facebook.com slash techgooch, and uh, we'll continue the conversation over there, as well as the fact that you can message me directly through Facebook if you have anything that you need. So, that said, if you want your product featured here on my YouTube channel, just get a hold of me through either of those means. Uh, or, obviously, we uh, always have things going on over at Facebook anyway, so check us out. We always be, I usually do monthly giveaways, so check us out over there. And uh, otherwise, stay cool, and we'll see you next time.